Hi everyone and welcome to this video. This video is part 2 of the Laravel 9 Inertia and Vue.js series. In part 1 we created a basic CRUD. In this part we will create some image upload functionality using filepond.js. First let me install filepond in my project. Then I will need to install a few plugins such as poster, validate type and image preview. Now that I'm done installing I can go back to the code. And the first thing I want to do is I want to import file pond and all the plugins. And for that I want to use this little code snippet. You will find the link to all the code snippet used in this tutorial in the description to the video. Now let me create my file pond component. And I will pass all the plugins as parameters for this component. Now let me export my component. And uh, let me also create some data here. I will need a data array for my images, which in fact will only take one image. And let me create some methods. So handle file pond init will be used when the plugin is initialized and handle file pond load is the callback when the image is loaded. Now let me require my component in the HTML code. I will need to pass a few parameters there. First of all the name parameter that is the name of the uploaded file. I need to specify if I can allow multiple upload, which is not, and also accept file types. I will accept PNG and JPEG. And in the vBind server parameter, I want to set a list of parameters that will have to do with the server configuration. So the global URL will be an empty string. The timeout is seven seconds. The process options are used for processing the uploaded file. We will need to specify the URL. The method is post. We will not need any credentials here. And the onload callback is the function that we've already created in the methods section. As for the on error callback, we will leave it blank for now. Okay, we're almost done here. We only need to bind the files array and the on init callback that we've already uh, created in the methods section as well. Okay, we're done here. Let's go check it out in the browser. Okay, let me refresh and click create new book. Okay, so as you can see, our plugin is here. So we can try and even upload a file. But of course there will be an error because we've not created our PHP controller yet. Okay, so first let's go to the routes and uh, create a route for the, for the image upload. It will use the same controller class and the action name is upload and now let me implement the method. The method will be pretty simple. It will just check if the request has a file and uh, if it does then it will save the file in the storage folder. The storage here will be temporary. After the model is saved the files will be moved to the permanent storage. Okay we're done here. Let's go check it out. Let's try and upload the same image again. Oops, looks like there's an error here. 
uh -huh, the page is expired because we're missing the, C the CSRF token in the request. So let's add it. It is done as simply as adding the headers object to your process options. And we can take the CSRF token from our global page variable. And I also need to fix this little error in the controller here, just to change the name and to delete the S. Okay, let's try it again. Let's upload a file. Okay, it's working. The request is returning the path to the uploaded file. Okay, now I need to save the path to the uploaded file in my form object. And I do it in my handle file form load callback. As simple as this. And now I want to display the path to the file in my in my books list table. Okay, now let's go back to the browser. Let's upload a file again. And now you can see the path to the uploaded file show up in the table. Okay, next thing I want to do is I want to display the actual image instead of the file path. So, I just need to put an image tag here. And then I need to define this little image path helper. It's going to be very simple. Just return the forward slash plus image. Um, before I can display the file in the browser, I need to copy it in my public folder on the server. And to do that, I want to create a helper method, which I will use in my store and update actions of my controller. So I want to use public uploads books path to store the files permanently on the server. And in the helper method, I will just check if the file exists in my temporary storage. I will then move it to the permanent storage on the server. So if the temporary file exists, then copy it to the permanent storage and delete it. And now let me just copy and paste my helper method into my actions. Okay, once in the update and uh, one more time in the store. Okay, we're done here. Let's go test it in the browser. Refresh the page, upload a file. And it looks like on the page the file is missing. But if we open it in a new tab, the image is there. And the reason for that error is because our form object properties are reactive and they are immediately displayed on the page. So we need to fix it somehow. And to do that we need to go to the books view and we need to explicitly make a copy of the item object when we assign it to the form object. And we do it by calling object assign method. Okay, this should fix it. Let's go and check it out. Let's try and upload a file again. Hit update. Okay, the image is there. Let's try create a new one. Let's try this image. Save. Okay, it should be on the last page. It is there. Okay, now if we open a form with an existing image, you see the image is not there. Yeah, you can upload a new one, but the old image is not there, so we need to fix it. 
Okay, so let's go to the form.view and here we need to initialize the existing image in our on init callback. We need to specify the source and this is where we will be using the poster plugin that we installed earlier. So here in the metadata properties we want to specify the poster parameter. And here I also want to reset the my files array if the image property of my form object is blank. Okay, let's go check it out. Whoops, nothing happened. I wonder why is that? The reason for this problem is the mistake that I made earlier in this tutorial. So let me just fix it by specifying the right parameter name here, which is files, not file. Okay, should work now. Let's try it again. Okay, it works now. Let's test it with another image. Yeah, it works too. Okay, now let's imagine I want to delete an image. So I remove it here, I hit update and nothing happens. So let's implement the delete function now. So here in the form.view we need to specify a handler for the remove action. Let's call it handle file pond remove. And this function will take three parameters. Let's just put it in somewhere in the methods. Okay, it needs three parameters, but we're only going to be using one. So first we need to set the form.image an empty string, and then we need to call the second parameter, which is a callback. Now let's test it in the browser. Let's hit the X button, update, and there we are. The image is not there. Okay. So next thing I want to do is I want to check what's going on in my temporary storage folder for the images. So let me open the folder and uh, now I want to upload a couple of images. So let's upload one image. And then I want, maybe I don't like this image and I want to try another one. So let me do it one more time. Let's try another one. Okay, let's go back to the folder and as you see the folder contains two images and it looks like these images are gonna stay there forever unless we delete them when the user hits the X button. In order to do this we need to implement the revert callback. So let's go to the form.view and in the methods let's implement the handle file pond revert method. The method takes three parameters and within the method we are going to use Axios. So let's import it first. And within the method body we want to make an HTTP call to the upload books revert URL and we want to send there the name of the uploaded image. And after we do that, we need to call the load function. Okay, so now let's implement the upload books revert URL in the PHP part. So first we need to go to the routes. Let's just copy and paste it here. Type revert and then change the name of the action here. Let's go to the controller, create the upload revert method here, use request, and in the method body I want to use part of the code from the process image method, only instead of copying the file I simply want to delete it. 
Okay, and let's quickly go back to the form.view uh, because here I forgot to assign my callback to the image revert action. So let me just do it. Okay, here and here. All right, let's give it a try. Okay, let me upload a couple of images. Okay, let me pick this one. Okay, let's see what's happening in my storage folder. Okay, it's there. I don't like it. And now the image is gone. Yeah, folder's empty. Let's try another one. Let's see if it's there. Yes, it's there. And I don't like this one either. And yeah, there it is. It's not there. Okay, so the last thing I want to do in this tutorial is I want to delete the image when I'm deleting the model. So, in order to do this, let me just delete the images that I have so far. Let's go to the uploads books and let's delete the images. This will make the demonstration part really easy. Okay, let's go to the command line, clear, and let's create an observer from my model. Book observer. Okay, now that the observer is created, let me use one of its methods to delete the image. I will use the deleted method. So if book has an image, I will check if the file exists, and if it does, then I'll delete it. As simple as that. And in order for the observer to work, I need to register it in my app service provider. So let me go ahead and do it. Book observe, book observer, colon, colon, class, class. Okay, now that we're done here, let's go and test it. Let's upload an image. Okay, let's update and check if the image is there in the uploads folder. There it is. And now let's delete the model. And you see the image is gone. Okay, that pretty much does it for this tutorial. This tutorial was based off of the previous tutorial where we created a basic CRUD. In the next series, we will create a composite package that will scaffold the crowd that we created. Thanks for watching, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. Goodbye.